What's up, guys? Uh, just initial thoughts of today's scrimmage, how everything went? I thought we got a lot done. I thought, uh, you know, it was uh, very game-like with all the kicking situations. Um, we hit all the field situations, situational football. Um, you know, I'll watch the tape and see about all the execution, but we were able to move the ball some on offense, which was good. So, yeah, I think overall a positive day. Greg, we're less than two weeks away from the season opener. Where are you at in the quarterback decision? Are you close to naming a starter? Uh, look at this one today and then visit with the staff. You know, we get a little catch your breath before we move on to Boston College here. So, um, you know, all the quarterbacks, I thought they performed well today. So we'll see. We're midway through camp. You've mentioned on a couple of occasions about guys being bumped, things of that sort. Where are you guys at injury-wise? Are you fine with where you guys are there? Any major concerns, anything? Well, when you have, you know, we've been at it now for, what, 17, 18 practices. You're going to have some some guys. The surgical ones are, you know, the, the ones that worry you because, you know, they're done for a while. Um, but I think, we're, I think we're in decent shape moving into this next phase. So tomorrow will be a recovery day. And uh, I'm sure it's well needed. These last four days have been tough. But... Um, I'm pleased. You know. Where do you feel like you're at with the offensive line in terms of knowing who the best five are at this point? I think we're close. I, I think we know who the best eight are, and then I think we know who the best 12 are, right? So we've got them ranked. Uh, I'm just not sure out of the best eight if we know who the best five are. That, that'll be the, the decision, which is a little bit of a brain twister there, right? talked about Tyreem and Dion at linebacker. How's the rest of that uh, position rounding out, especially with all the injuries there? Well, I think uh, Austin Dean is making progress. Um, you know, I would say that um, Jameer Wright Collins is a very good move. Uh, he, he is he's a natural at the position, so he just needs repetitions and experience, but he'll be a very good linebacker. Greg, you mentioned you did a lot of uh, kicking situations today. Obviously, a couple of new faces in that room. How's that competition kind of coming along? Yeah, I think um, you know, I think Jude has established himself as our as our kicker, and uh, he's done a good job in the camp. I think uh, you know, obviously in in the punting situation, we know who that is. So, yeah, I'm I'm pleased with our specialists. The long snapper is the one that I'm still not sure of. Uh, they're both doing well. It's just going to be a matter of what's the better choice of the two. Greg, I know you're locked in, but do you get a chance to see what's going on with some of your young players in the NFL from last year, Pacheco, Melton, and, and Fadakasi, and, and what the kids are talking about? You know, I, I've only heard, Fooch, I uh, have not been able to watch it at all, but I hear that they're, they're doing well, and I'm really proud of them. Um, you know, the whole thing about when you go in as a rookie is just put your head down and chop. Don't, don't. You worry about all the other stuff later, because there may not be any, there may not be anything to worry about unless you take care of business now. So, I can sense that from what the reports I'm getting that they're doing that, that they're they're staying on the chop, and, and hopefully they can uh, they can get a spot on the club. Well, you get so many freshmen in here early now. Are you really seeing a difference in the performance over the summer in training camp? Well, there's no doubt. You know, I used to say to young guys that. To come in the in the mid year is an advantage, but it's really now a disadvantage not to come because more people are coming mid year than are coming in June. So it, it, the table's kind of turned on that one. Um, again, I've told you guys, I'm not sure about the whole thing because senior spring is a time in your life when I think you can really enjoy your your buddies and your time. But the reality is, you're talking about future NFL players, and that's a six month head start on something so it's really career advancement is the way that I look at it for them so it's definitely worth it if they can some schools still won't allow you to Greg kind of piggybacking off that one one guy that showed up in June was Samuel Brown a lot of people want to know how he's progressing and uh, do you see a role for him this year Samuel Brown has uh, done it very well he's got a chance to be a very good player where he fits into the the mix of carries and play time, that's, we haven't determined that yet, but he's, he's got a bright future. This is Gavin's first go-around in training camp. Have you seen him kind of get more comfortable and, and 
develop as practices have come along? Just where have you seen his progress so far? Yeah, he's, you know, you, you got to remember how young he is, right? Like, he showed up before training camp. So, like, it was funny. We were we were in a team meeting, and, and we were all talking, and he's like, yeah, the guys were asking me, like, what's training camp like? And he's like, I don't know. I wasn't there. You know, he came when school started. So this really was his first training camp. So much like the other freshmen, it was a learning experience, but he improved. How, how are you going to uh, distribute the days? Is it still camp mode? Are you doing prep stuff? Is it more traditional? We will have a recovery day tomorrow, and then we will kind of break camp. What makes a camp day or a camp time is living together in a, in a secluded place, right? We will move out uh, Monday in the afternoon, and then they'll be moving into their, you know, their, their homes that they're going to live in during the school year. So that's kind of the break. We'll still have longer days than you would in regular school year because we don't have school, but it won't be, you know, from sun up till 1030 at night. This is more of a big picture question, not really Rutgers specific, but the Big Ten announced its new media deal last week. Just what's your reaction to that and just how it could impact Rutgers and, and the league as a whole? Look, the, you know, the reality is it costs a lot of money to do what, what you do at this level. And uh, when you when you have a TV deal that generates more income for the schools in the Big Ten Conference, it sure helps you know, pay the bills. So uh, anything that helps our conference, that's going to you know, help Rutgers. And it's our job, and I keep saying this, it's our job to be first competitive in our conference and then to move on to higher aspirations after that. Thank you, guys.